What's up guys? Wired Zero here. And in today's video, we're going to be installing Ubuntu Server 16.04.4 LTS or long-term support in Windows 10 using VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and head over to ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash server. Now we're going to click on the download link next to 16.04.4. So go ahead and click on that and get that download started. All right, now that we have Ubuntu downloaded, let's go ahead and move it to our desktop. So if you're going to follow this video from start to finish, you will have Ubuntu server 16.4.4 installed on your desktop or your Windows 10 OS. So now that we have it on our desktop, let's go ahead and open VirtualBox. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and click on new. And we're going to create a new virtual machine or a new operating system within our host operating system. And look, we're, we're going to name it Ubuntu. For the purpose of this video, 1024 is going to be plenty. So click next, and we're going to create a virtual hard disk now. So go ahead and click next. VDI, virtual disk image, is going to be just fine for the purpose of this tutorial video. And we're going to leave it dynamically allocated. So go ahead and click next. 10 gigabytes of hard drive space is going to be more than sufficient for this video. So go ahead and click create now. Now there are a few things in here we're going to change, so we're going to click on settings. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to storage, and we're going to select that ISO image we downloaded, that Ubuntu image. So click on the little disk right here, and we're going to go ahead and go to our desktop, and click on the Ubuntu 16.04.4 ISO image. Now we're going to click on audio, and we're going to go ahead and disable this. I never enable audio on virtual machines. Now network, we're going to change that to bridged adapter, and we're going to go to advanced, and we're going to, under promiscuous mode, we're going to select allow all. And we are pretty much done here, so we can click OK. Now let's go ahead and start our new virtual image. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up so everybody can see everything that we got going on. And we're going to click English, if that's your preferred language of choice. And we're going to go ahead and choose Install Ubuntu Server. So hit Enter. All right, now for our language, I'm going to choose English again. Go ahead and hit Enter. I'm located in the United States, so I'm going to choose the United States. I always choose no here. So go ahead and hit enter on no. And again, we're going to hit English for uh, my preference. And English again for my keyboard layout. And we have started our Ubuntu install. Congratulations, all you Windows 10 users using VirtualBox installing Ubuntu server. <laughs> All right, now for our host name, I'm going to leave it set on Ubuntu. And now we're going to enter a username. I'm going to go ahead with Egon, pick whatever you want, and then tab over to continue, and then repeat that, and tab over to continue to move on. Now we're going to choose a password. So this is something you're going to want to remember. All right, so enter that in, and we're going to re-enter it. We are not going to encrypt our home directory for the purpose of this video, so go ahead and select now. Let's go ahead and use the entire disk and continue. Select enter. Go ahead and select the partition we just uh, worked with. And we are going to write changes to disk. So tab over to the left using the left arrow key and hit enter. 
and this is the amount of hard drive space we're going to be utilizing so go ahead and tab over to continue and hit enter and yes we are going to right change the disk so go ahead and hit the left arrow key over and hit enter and we are all right we're not going to use a uh, proxy so we can tab over to continue and hit enter <laughs> All right, now we're not going to install any updates, so we can go ahead and select that. Now here, we're, what we're going to choose is our LAMP server. And that's going to give us the ability to have a fully functional web server. So we're going to click LAMP, hit the spacebar on that, and then we're going to enable open SSH server so we can SSH into our server much easier to work with. So let's go ahead and continue. Now we're gonna set up password for our MySQL database. So this is something you wanna remember, all right? So enter it in and we're gonna re-enter it again. Remember it mentally, write it down, whatever you gotta do and tab over to continue and let's get rolling. Now it's time to reboot our system. So let's go ahead and hit enter on continue and finish the installation. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and continue our reboot of our newly installed virtual image of Ubuntu server 16.4.4. Good job, everybody. If you're at this point, you've executed this perfectly. All right, now we're gonna log in with the username we created during the install. In my case, it was Egon, so let's enter our password in now. And we are logged in. Excellent. So let's go ahead and type in sudo dot, uh, space su and enter your password. And we're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna do an app-get update, hit enter, and we're gonna basically update all our repositories all right now what we're going to do is we're going to update all our libraries by doing an app dash get upgrade all right and then hit yes to continue if you're at this point in the video then everything is going as expected and you are perfectly installing ubuntu 16.4.4 within virtualbox so, kudos to you. Now let's go ahead and locate our IP address that we have that was assigned to this operating system. So in our case here, it's gonna be 10.0.0.187. So 187 is the address that we got. Oh, well, I got in this case. So if everything was done correctly and we go to 10.0.0.187, we're going to be able to pull up the uh, default Apache web page. So if you got to this point, everything went as expected. So let's go ahead and move on. So what we want to do now is not access this server via the virtual machine we want to ssh into it so we're going to use since we're on windows we're going to use the putty ssh client so go ahead and go to putty.org and now we're going to click on the and again the information is going to be in the description below but we just want the 64-bit client side putty executable so we can just open it and ssh into our server our ubuntu server that we created which was in my case 187 so now that we have this downloaded let's move it over to our desktop and we'll go ahead and open it and let's go ahead and go to in my case 10.0.0.187 
select yes. Put in your login credentials and you are now logged into your virtual machine from your host operating system with a much better control in the terminal. Well, that's it here for Wired Zero. Um, I hope this helps you out. Peace out.